I'm Mr. Turner, a teacher of humanities, and one of my favourite subjects is Isambard Kingdom Brunel, the celebrated engineer who was voted number two in the Millennium List of Great Britons. And here is the railway shed at Swindon, which was roughly halfway as far as wheel revolutions were concerned of early locomotives between London and Bristol. Brunel first started off working for his father building a tunnel under the River Thames, the world's first underwater tunnel. He then designed the Clifton Suspension Bridge at Bristol where he met the directors of the Great Western Railway. In 1833, Brunel was appointed its chief engineer. He was on a handsome salary. He said he wouldn't build the cheapest railway, he would build the best. He cost a lot of money. And the railway became one of the wonders of the world and some of its superstructures are the Hanwell Viaduct of Ealing and the Great Albert Suspension, the Great Albert Railway Bridge across the River Thames. Here at Swindon, Brunel built his railway shed and under his railway engineer Sir Daniel Gooch, Gooch designed the locomotives. The one behind me is a replica of the North Star. It was built by the Stevensons in the north of England for this railway and in 1837 the original was used to bring the directors from London to Maidenhead on the first test run of this magnificent railway. This train behind me reached about 37 miles per hour. This is a replica and in a minute I will take the camera and show you some of the other objects in this museum. And I'm showing you this, young people, to engage you in wanting you to learn more about Isambarking the Brunel. And if you've got time beyond visiting the Clifton Suspension Bridge and the Great Western Railway, Terminus Bristol Temple Meads or Brunel's Great Britain in Bristol Docks, come to Swindon and see the birthplace of the Great Western.